Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. If this video helps you, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and it really helps. Let's get to the video. Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna talk about sinusoidal regression or sine regression on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator. So one of the things with sine regression or one of the uh, pieces of data that can be modeled by sine regression is uh, temperatures for uh, like average monthly temperatures for a city. Um, and so in this video, we're actually gonna take a look at average monthly high temperatures for Memphis, Tennessee. So I just Googled this, found these temperatures on, on the, online. Now I just rounded them to the nearest degree. And obviously this is in Fahrenheit, okay? So for January, we see 49 degrees, February 54, March 63, April 72, May 80, June 89, July 92, August 91, gets pretty hot in the summers in Memphis. September 85, October 75, November 62, and December 52. So we're gonna take our calculator, I have mine on the screen right now, and we're gonna graph this as a scatter plot. Now the months are gonna be my X values, and we're gonna start with X being one for January, all the way to X is equal to 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into stat, and on edit, we're just gonna hit enter, and now here we are in our L1, L2 columns where we're gonna type in our values. Okay, so for L1, that's gonna be my X values. So I'm gonna do one, enter, two, three, four, five, six, all the way down to 12, okay? So now I have one through 12 on my L1, that's representing my X values, and in this case, it's January through December. So I'm gonna go right to go over to L2, and now these are my Y values, if you will, or in this case, my monthly high temperatures. So for January, we had 49 degrees. For February was 54. March was 63. April 72. May 80. And June was 89. July 92. And August 91. September 85. And then October 75. November 62 and December 52, okay? So I have my values there, I'm ready to graph. I hit graph and nothing shows up. So there are a couple formatting things that we wanna make sure our calculator has correctly before we go ahead and do our graph. So first thing, go to Y equals, and notice here at the top where it says plot one. Mine is not highlighted, meaning that it is turned off. So if yours is not highlighted, then go up to it and hit enter. And now look, it is highlighted, okay? Now when you hit Y1, if yours is already highlighted and you still weren't seeing it, then you're okay on that step. So now another thing, we go back to graph and notice we still don't see it. Well, that's because we need to adjust our window. Well, if we think about our X values, that's from one to 12 and our Y values, we look back at the screen, that would be our temperatures. Well, our lowest temperature was 49 and our highest temperature is 92. Well, on my screen right now, I'm seeing the standard zoom or the standard window, which is just negative 10 to 10 on both the X and the Y axis. So I'm gonna click on window and I'm gonna change X minimum. That's my lowest X value. Let's just change that to zero. I need to see when X is one to 12. So I'm gonna go one to 15 just to give myself a range. And then for Y, my lowest temperature was 49. So let's just put this at 40. And then my highest temperature was 92. So let's just do 100. Now when we hit graph, we see our scatter plot. And so those are the two things that I would check to make sure your window is accurate and your um, plot is turned on. Now, obviously, if you're graphing a different set of data, your window could be a little bit different depending on what your data is, but for mine, that's what I needed it to be. So now we have our scatter plot shown and we notice that it looks like it has some sign characteristics, right? So now we can go back to stat and we're gonna go over here to calculate. And the purpose of this video is to know how to do sinusoidal regression. And so we're gonna go down until we see sine reg which is sine regression and we see it right there so let's hit enter and now it says a couple things we want to make sure that x list is l1 because that's where we typed our x values and we want to make sure y list is l2 because that's where we typed our y values now one thing that we can also do here is where it says store regression equation that's what that stands for reg regression and then eq is our equation because we're doing this to give ourselves a sine equation basically right well, if we wanna store it so that when we go back to look at our graph, we can actually see the function graphed over our scatter plot. It's gonna look kinda of cool. So to do this, we go down to store regression equation and we're gonna hit this button that says vars. We're gonna go over to y vars and on function, we're just gonna hit enter 
and we're already on Y1, that's what we want, so hit enter again. And now notice how it's inputted a Y1 right there. So what that's gonna do is when it gives us our equation, it's gonna automatically type that in into our Y equals screen so that we don't have to you know, write down the equation and type it back in, it'll just do it for us. So now we go down to calculate, we hit enter, and it gives us our equation. So notice how we have A is 22.1, B is 0 0.49, C is negative 1.87, and D is 70.4. So we could take those values, write them down as an equation, and then go and graph it ourselves. But from here, since we stored the regression equation as Y1, watch what happens when I hit Y equals. It already has that equation there, right? And it doesn't round it, so it's as, as accurate as it possibly could be. So now once we hit graph, we see the function actually being graphed, right? So that's pretty cool, right? So that is how uh, we can do some sinusoidal regression on the TI-84+. Plus. I will mention one other kind of troubleshooting thing. Since we are graphing a sine regression function here, we do need our calculator to be in radians. So mine is in radians. If yours is not, then you can click on mode and we go down here. Notice mine says radian. Um, if we're in degree, then it would look like this, right? So we want that to be in radians. So if I go back to my graph, see how my graph is not correct? because it needs to be in radians. So if yours looks like this, then just go to mode, go down here to radian, hit enter, and then go back to graph and it should look the way it's supposed to, okay? So hopefully this video gives you an idea of how to find some sine regression on your TI-84 plus CE graphing calculator.